Hey, what's going on guys? On today's video, we're gonna go over the 12 things on what you can do to improve your day as a high ticket sale, business owner, coach, consultant, or even sales rep to get the most out of your day. Guys, it's 2023, everybody's getting geared up to rock. I'm gonna go with through my step-by-step -step process of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. So buckle in, take down some notes, and let's jump into this training. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get going. So number one, probably the most important thing about starting your day all boils down to your energy level. You guys, for years now, I've woken up at five o'clock in the morning. I've gone to the gym. Listen, whether you're a gym guy, whether you are you go out there, run, do yoga, whatever it may be, the most important tool that you have in your arsenal as a sales rep is your energy level. It is next to impossible to have high energy throughout the day when your health is actually at risk. So highly, highly recommend that you start focusing more on your health, your body, working out on a day-to-day -day basis, and try to get your faculties going first thing in the morning, especially early. It's going to set yourself up for success right out of the gates. I know that sounds cliche. I know that you've heard every guru in the world talk about, you know, working out first thing in the morning. It is absolutely imperative. And the better shape that you get into literally will equate into your ability to be able to take on more sales calls, have better energy, make more money. There is without a doubt a correlation. I've seen it inside of my life, my business, all aspects. So first and foremost, be very, very focused on your energy by working out number one. The second most important thing to do that I focus on inside of the day is really sharpening your sword. And what I mean by sharpening your sword is really spending 20, 30 minutes from a personal development standpoint. Years ago, I remember this was you know, almost 18 years ago when I first got into sales, I was marketing and advertising involved with real estate and literally knew very little. I was just in the process of actually purchasing my first house. When it came to actually real estate investing and how real estate actually worked, I was kind of a novice. But because of the fact that I spent 20 to 30 minutes every morning for months, even the first couple of years on studying that art or that craft and better understanding it, the more confident that I became in what I was actually talking about, the better I understood the marketplace, the better I understood how real estate worked, it gave me the confidence. So 20 to 30 minutes at the beginning of your day, sharpening your sword. If you can relate that personal development specifically to the industries or the businesses that you're in, it's going to have a bigger impact, but definitely take your time to sharpen your sword. All right, you guys. So number three, so this is when we get into actually structuring your day here, as far as like the day-to-day -day appointments and what's actually happening. So really, really important. If you can set yourself up from the most highest priority meetings or sales conversation between eight and 12 o'clock in the morning, statistically, your energy levels are going to take a drastic dip after 1130. Even if you're great at working out, your energy levels are going to drop. We're going to discuss inside of this training, how to be able to continue to spike, keep your energy levels high throughout the day and even into the late evening, which oftentimes I end up doing on a weekly basis when it comes to different meetings and different sales calls. So first and foremost, if you can prioritize your highest priority sales meetings first thing in the morning, that's going to be a big advantage to you. Number four, try to push off non-essential meetings or meetings that you have to have till later on in the day. Typically, these should be happening from anywhere between your three and six o'clock time slots. This is when energy levels are typically starting to fade. But at the end of the day, when it comes to the sell side, you want to be able to be as sharp as you possibly can for those sales conversation because the reality is is that oftentimes most business meetings that there's an agenda there's priority there's to do's it doesn't take a lot of creative thinking if it's a meeting where you're planning things and it takes a lot of creative thinking and output then certainly you need to book those appointments first thing in the morning but if it's general routine meetings try to book those later on in the day Okay, you guys, so number five. So as the day goes on and you start to have additional sales calls, oftentimes into, you know, 12, one, two, three, four, later on in the afternoon, super important that you get out of your office. I tend to hunker down for a long period of time. I can promise you a quick five to 10 minute brisk walk around the block or outside just has a big impact on being able to refocus, get up every hour and a half, go take a quick walk, come back, refocus on your next sales presentation. Vital, very, very important to be able to come back in and get refocused on what you're doing. All right, you guys, so number six, really your job as a sales rep or a business owner, especially if you're selling some sort of high ticket sell products or service, should be 
laser focused on pitching deals and getting new prospects on the phone for you to be able to actually sell. So once I've actually prioritized and I have sales calls coming in later in in the day, first thing that I'm gonna do when there's a gap inside of my schedule, I'm gonna focus on my highest priority customers that I've already spoken to that are maybe waiting on funds, whatever it may be. These are red hot deals that should be closing relatively quickly. These are the people that I'm gonna follow up in between those time periods. All right, you guys, so number seven, once we've actually focused on the high priority customers that you've already spoken to, the next focus is to generate high value appointments for you to pitch either later on that afternoon or the next day. So you need to either be presenting or trying to set yourself up for new presentations. That should be the focus. Now, number nine, what I do inside of this order is because we have kind of an application process, people actually filled in, people that did not book but filled out an application or no-showed, these are my next priority of people that I'm gonna follow up with. So first and foremost, I'm gonna follow up with the high priority ones that I've already pitched, I think should close. Number two, I'm focusing on high priority, setting myself up with appointments, most likely the people that had booked but maybe didn't show up to their first conversation, getting them back on is a priority for me. Applications, people that filled out an application but never booked, that is my next Next priority. Number 11, you guys, focus your day-to-day -day end of work emails, filling out reports towards the end of the day. You're going to be tired. Don't try to get this done throughout the day. Be laser focused on either pitching, presenting, or staying focused on generating yourself with more appointments. Do all of the busy work, end-of-day report emails at the end of the day. Now, number 12 that you should be focusing on, especially in the latter part of the day, this is towards you're trying to wrap up, spend at least 20, 30, minutes focusing on your next day, sending out text message reminders, call confirmation, and then time blocking times when you have time available on when you're going to do certain activities from a priority level of following or contacting or generating additional appointments during those time slots so that when you walk into the next day, you know exactly step by step how your day is going to play out. Very, very important. Hopefully you found some of this content helpful. Please comment if you have any questions below. As always, like, follow us for more content like this, and we will be seeing you you soon.